Hello, hello. Welcome back to another episode of Life and Work as a Graphic Designer. Here's the thing, I haven't posted in a month because I've been trying my hardest to balance a 9 to 5 in graphic design while also doing lots of content creation, and I have not been balancing it very well. So let's just recap on a bunch of things that have happened in the last month or so. In my free time, I've been playing around with these watercolored pencils that I picked up in Italy. I'm much stronger with my art and design skills digitally, but it's fun to play around with paper. And you don't have to be great at all of your hobbies. I've also been cooking more. I'm not making anything crazy, but I'm still proud. I made chia seed pudding. Never done that before. This is not cute. Zero points for presentation once again. However, I'm also trying to keep some sort of social life going, so when I do see my friends, we do end up eating out quite a bit. I consistently frequent the kebab house, salt and olive, and forage. If you're in the LA area, highly recommend checking them out. Also, acai bowls have become my go-to comfort snack in between all of the late nights working. I don't know why. I'm getting ready to go work out at the gym because I didn't get to do it this morning. I was in a bunch of meetings and then I just ordered like a thousand dollars worth of things for this cool hyper event that is coming up. I really wish I could show you guys everything I ordered and designed, but I have a feeling that by the time this vlog goes up, it still won't have happened. So I can't give that away. My last vlog, I was um, a, little, a little down, but I am feeling better. I think I am trying to like find ways to exercise with my fractured toe and um, I've been cycling, been doing a lot of like upper body stuff so I'll stick to that and then hopefully I will heal faster. I had a consultation this morning with a potential therapist because your girl got new insurance and I realized that therapy could potentially be affordable so I had a call with this lady today and she seemed really nice. So I hope it works out because I think with therapy I will be time management wise. I'm feeling pretty good. I sent everything I needed to, to the brands that I'm working with. So I'm in a position where the ball's in their court. I'm just waiting to hear back from them. I have a lot to do still, but I am managing my time very well. Okay, so here's the thing. I feel like I do not really have too much of a structure when it comes to working. Usually with projects, I kind of just switch between different ones. If I'm in the mood to edit, I'll do that. If I'm in the mood to film, I'll do that. But I feel like the really organized and productive people like really just block it out and they have days where they're filming, days dedicated to editing. So I think I'm just going to give that a try and just see where that takes me. So I've decided today will be a filming day and I thought it would be cool to take you guys behind the scenes of content creation, how I do my brand partnerships, things like that. For most videos that I make with a brand, I usually provide a little mood board or a storyboard. I always start off with a classic pen and paper moment and I literally like write it out and draw my storyboard. I kind of like jot down a script or a rough draft of one and once I'm kind of satisfied with that, I'll go ahead and I'll usually use like Figma and I'll actually make a digital storyboard for them to read, maybe provide a little bit more context, use pictures and um, reference shots instead of just like my silly little doodles. I will likely save all the scenes where I have to show my face until later because I'm not wearing any makeup and I just showered and I don't want to change into something presentable. And I'm realizing a lot of my partnerships that I'm filming now will not go up this month because it is kind of like the end of the month. So I'm going to change my calendar <laughs> because I don't want it to feel outdated. I got this calendar from Poketo. This is definitely my least favorite color. And that, that month was like, okay. I think the golden age was this, these colors. I love a saturated color. Um, and then this color was pretty solid. And um, I, love, I love these blues and I love these purples. Kind of wondering what calendar I'm gonna get for next year because I never repeat the calendar. I'm considering making my own, but I did that last year and I really scrambled to get that done. It was a little bit stressful. I can't believe it's autumn already. Passage of time is crazy. You might have noticed something a little different in my office space. Something like this lovely monitor from LG who happens to be the sponsor of today's video. 
This is my first monitor I've ever owned and it is the LG MyView Smart Monitor. I don't actually know how I managed to go 25 years without one, but this monitor makes me feel super productive because I can have multiple tabs open and switch between projects really easily. Whether I want to respond to emails, edit videos, or work on design projects, there is plenty of space on this 34 inch curved screen. I'm also an avid fan of television and LG's Magic Remote easily navigates all of my favorite streaming services. Watching movies on this screen gives me the ultimate cinematic experience. I've had a chance to use this monitor for a few weeks and it's really upgraded my workspace so if you're looking for a new one I'll put a link in my description. Welcome to another episode of Cooking with Cat. Tonight we have Brussels sprouts, carrots, garlic, maybe some kabocha squash, and then some sort of protein. And today we are cooking hamachi kama collar and all of that is gonna get chopped up and thrown into the oven because I love a one-pan meal. Sorry I keep making the same things, but if I don't make easy things, I will never cook. So it's this or nothing. Okay, I was grossly overcomplicating things. All I had to do was change the angle. And we got our little aerial workspace shot. The day is winding down. I have spent most of the afternoon and early evening filming. I'm gonna take a quick dinner break and then I'm gonna get back to it. This is like the most beautiful blue I've ever seen. Crazy that that just happens every day. Happy Sunday, everyone. We are slowly building a very specific Sunday routine. We go to H Mart. We get the sweet potato that they um, sell and it's like freshly cooked and it's so yummy. I do laundry, change the bed sheets. It's not the most exciting thing in the world, but I feel like it's a very good way to just kind of reset for the week. Um, I'm in the middle of two very big projects and um, the last week I've just been working a lot and I suspect that this week I will also be doing the exact same thing. I'm not really one to get the Sunday scaries, but I am a little bit nervous about the amount of work that I might have to do this week just for freelancing, just for partnerships, just for hyper. Um, I am going to New York in two weeks. So yeah, there's just a lot of stuff going on. I said yes to too many things, but that's okay. I have not vlogged for a hot minute because the last like several days have looked exactly the same. I go to work for Hyper Stuff. I have been sending several assets to print for this cafe pop-up that's coming up. And then after Hyper's done, I go and I start filming for brand deals. Um, you know how I said I like said yes to too many things? I said yes to another thing. So I am a little bit stressed. I think I was doing good on managing my time, but now I've added this other project and it was, it was very hard to say no, and it seemed like a really fun side quest. Yeah, uh, I've been working like every day until late into the night, and I'm starting to feel it and getting pretty tired, but it has made me kind of think about where I want to take my career because I do love my nine to five, which is being a creative lead for Hyper Skin. But when I think about it, I kind of did create that nine to five as well. Like I branded Hyper and then asked for a full-time job there and everything that I do there is just like 
my own creative direction. So it doesn't really feel like a typical nine to five to me, but I would be lying if I said I didn't sometimes think about leaving that nine to five. Obviously there are some pros and cons to it. Um, I love the stability of a paycheck. I love a salary. Um, I love health insurance and it's kind of nice. It's, it's kind of afforded me the opportunity to only take on freelance and content creation projects that I really want to do versus having to take on every single one that comes my way. But again, I think um, I'm starting to have those thoughts and I wanted to kind of document that and put that out there. Speaking of my nine to five, I got this in the mail. So we're gonna do a little unboxing. Hyper Skin just launched their new sunscreen available on sephora.com and certain sephora stores in real life. And when I tell you this packaging really took so long. It was a journey to get here, but we finally did it and wow. Wow is it worth it to just see this baby in real life. This is the Hyper Daily Invisible for All SPF 50 Sun Drops. It's my first time branding a sunscreen. Sunscreens come with lots of FDA regulations. This is like the little box I designed, this back. This is my first time making like a little drug facts panel, which was really interesting to me actually. Um, I really tried to format it in a way that was readable but also looked clean. This is the little insert card that I made. We have our beautiful model. And then on the back we have this little thing. Essentials to reach for on the daily. And so the first line is just like the SPF and then just like other New York things that you reach for every day. This is part of like the influencer press kit that we were giving out, but look! The little taxi cab that says hyper on it. My first time designing a keychain, so that was cool. I was cleaning out my design closet and I thought it would be a good opportunity to scrapbook some of my designs that I made on the way to launching our SPF. This is something I decided to start a few years ago. I just thought it'd be cool to kind of keep track of my designs and the drafts before they became like real tangible products out in the world. So these are just some examples of some artwork, some boxes. Um, this is like the first Lentiful drafts and then um, just some relics like when I went to Expo West. This is one of the first Halea boxes that were printed. Now I'm adding the designs that I printed out when I was designing the component for the SPF. And if you were wondering, I got this scrapbook from Muji. So this is the front and the back design. And then this is kind of the paper box that I printed out on my printer and that eventually turned into this box. You can't see it, but this is like a nice butter yellow. And it took some time to get this butter yellow right. Similar to last week, I haven't been really vlogging because every day has looked exactly the same. I haven't left my house in three days. But tonight, we are actually going out because Sinjin booked a concert months ago. We both totally forgot about it until today but we are going to the Fonda Theater and we're gonna go see Magdalena Bay. They're like this indie band. Yeah, honestly, like excited to go out because I've kind of just been here all week long. Something really random happened today. Olivia Rodrigo posted on her story that she was having halo halo, which is like a Filipino dessert. And I sent it to my cousin and uh, my cousin called me immediately and she was like, dude, she's at the Romulo Cafe. And that's the Filipino restaurant that my family owns. And I didn't even notice like in the corner, it had the Romulo Cafe logo in her story. Yeah, I'm, I'm really sad that I wasn't in the Philippines and I wasn't there to see her. Life is crazy. 